this much. Let's see. What it do, what it do, what it do to my champs all around the world. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's supposed to be in the 80s today. I love it. I love warm weather. I'd rather sweat than shiver. But that's neither here nor there. Morning to my champs. Good afternoon if this find you later. Good evening if this find you later. What it do? I'm hoping everybody's staying positive, staying motivated, and staying real. Don't forget to breathe, be in the moment, and be yourself. Just be yourself. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful, beautiful beginning of the week. After a nice, nice, beautiful Sunday of reflection, man. Daily reflections, but you know, it's something about them Sundays, man. That shit is like a gumbo pot. It got everything you need in it, man. Just reflection, accountability, direction, thought, everything. So I wanted to make a quick little video. I know I'm a male advocate. I'm a huge male advocate, right? But this is a universal message, right? Don't shortchange yourself from what you know you truly deserve, right? Don't shortchange yourself on what you feel you truly deserve. Too many times in relationships, friendships, situationships, we move with this standard of give and take. Well, if this person don't call me, I ain't calling them. If they text me hours later, I'm going to text them hours later. I ain't here for them in three days. Shit, I'm about to, like, which, based on your paradigm, that's cool. If that works for you, right? I'm going to speak on my reflection and hopefully it touches home with somebody, right? So you will be able to in so many ways of not understanding where I'm coming from, you could walk with me, right? So I won't make no absolutes. I'll speak on my experience and hopefully if the hat fit, the hat fit, right? That type of game only devalues your true person, who you are, right? And I say that to say, I caught myself a few times trying to match energy or play this game of, cat and mouse right the first hour or two is cute but a nigga like me i got too much going on for a lot i can't keep up with that i'm not doing that i'm not doing that like and even with that it's a different mind state when you look at it like oh this girl playing games or i'm not about to chase no woman or man no nah, it's different when instead of looking at it like that you look at it like man i deserve blank 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 I deserve blank, blank, blank. For example, I'm not playing this game with your ass woman. I deserve a female that can't wait to hit me up. I deserve a woman who don't think about, am I texting too much? I deserve a woman who's open to transparent communication. I deserve an honest woman. I deserve a caring woman. Do you get what I'm saying? And when you say these to yourself and you say what you deserve, the emotions you feel while naming what you deserve kicks those other little cute games with them little bras out the window. I don't even want to text this bitch no more. I don't want to text this woman no more. Why? Because now I feel and know what I truly deserve. I shouldn't have to do certain things just to prove something that I'm greater than. Do you get what I'm saying? A lot of people, I won't even say males. This is a unisex approach. A lot of people have accomplished and done some extravagant things in their life just for their legacy to be tarnished based off the individual they decided to deal with.
And nowadays, it's so ugly and so real that it's like, when I think about Malcolm, Martin, Huey, these individuals of power that I that I can see, you know what I'm saying, recognize. They type of woman, they got nothing to do with being submissive, quiet. It's just the way even our grandparents or our great aunts or something. If you've been exposed to these type of women, not everybody had the fortunate circumstance to be brought up around a certain type of women. We all grew up around women, but I don't know if everybody grew up around a certain class, a certain quality of woman that this type of woman helped shape your reality and normality of women. That when you come outside of that box, it's literally foreign. It's really like, hold up. So y'all doing that? Yeah, what y'all doing? I've never seen, you get what I'm saying? So in those moments, man, I've come to realize like the women from then and now are different. Just like the men from then and now are different. But what remains is the individual and what they deserve. What they deserve. Some of us don't deserve people that we feel like they deserve us. It's a challenge and it's a walk, but you can sit there and feel like, yo, I just got to go a little harder. They just need a little bit more help. If I keep proving to them, all right, that's cool. But when the stones get heavy, you got to ask yourself, what do you deserve? What do you deserve? Don't do like I did at one point when I was in a, a relationship. I was pouring so much into this person, like literally pouring to the point where, where you know how you could take a rag, a wash rag and go like this and all the water, water come out. Imagine a pitcher and you pouring in somebody to the point where you're trying to turn the pitcher like this to get it all out in a person. And it hit me one day when I was just so drained. I'm like, this person not doing nothing to restore nothing in me. And I didn't realize it. Why? Because in my paradigm as a man and what I was taught was, you know, you, you be there for your lady, you, you fight through thick and thin, you be there, you hold it down. And it's like, that's not, that's not what it is for me. That's not healthy for me. Like, I deserve someone that's willing to pour into me. I deserve someone who acknowledges you've done enough or you're doing a lot. I deserve someone who knows how to say, let me pour into you without it being, oh, oh, bro, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve that, champ. I deserve a woman who is excited. I don't want to say like a, like, like, like a, like a baby, but you know how babies or like your pet or like, I don't want to put it like that, but you know how like your, your nephew or niece or like a baby or something see you and they just so excited. Like, like, yo, bro, you deserve that. You don't deserve to come home to, well, I was, I've been working all day. You don't deserve that, my boy. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve that, my boy. I'm not in a woman's shoes. I've never walked in women's shoes. I don't plan on physically and mentally, like, so I don't know what goes through a woman's mind when they justify certain actions and when those actions manifest, depending on how that action went. Brother, don't be the fallback for that shit. Mm -mm. You deserve better than that. You deserve somebody whose intention, attention is with you. And it don't got to be stalkerish. It don't got to be hounding. But fellas, women too. Let's be so honest with ourselves. If you haven't experienced this, I damn, damn. But for the most part, I'm hoping that those who I engage with through these platforms, we have a one of those, it goes without saying type of understanders, right? But needless to say, when somebody like you, yo, like when somebody feeling you, when somebody into you, bruh, Bro, there's, it's a different type of walk, yo. Like, it's different. It's different. Don't get it messed up. I know the difference between a woman being thirsty, a woman playing the field, 
a woman flirting, all right, cool. Charge that to the game. However, what I'm saying is I know how it feels for a woman to be into you. Like, bro, everything you say, she holding on. You may mention, yeah, man, shit last week, man. I went to whatchamacallit. I fucked around, lost my Yankee hat at the game. And now tomorrow, bro, she popping up with a Yankee hat. Now, you know, my favorite cake is vanilla wafer, strawberries, and Snickers. With a big ass thing of Pepsi, I could do that all day, bro. Friday, you getting that? And it's not even about her being a pick me. Ain't even about her doing the most. She know what you deserve, and we could sit with that all day. As far as nah, that's the strategy. People do that to well out the truth, so they could okay. Hypothetically speaking. If that is the wave, if somebody is moving like that, that say that says a, a lot more about them than the person who's in the driver's seat directing what they deserve. Even in those moments, I'm sure we emotionally intelligent enough to recognize, all right, this female only went and got me to Pepsi because she wanted to be in my good graces. Okay, you can think like that all you want, but I'm hoping and I'm sure there's somebody that knows exactly what I mean. All games aside, there's people out there you come across that well in so many ways genuinely have a liking to you. And depending on the intensified experience you ever had with that, it's hard to look at somebody who's not matching something from then. I know females who went and bent, the, bent, bent bricks for me. Females taking whole bricks and going like this, hypothetically, metaphorically speaking. So you think I'm going to put myself in a position now with, nah, 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 nah. Why? Because I know what I deserve. And to be transparent, we can't be egotistical with this. I know what I deserve without knowing what others deserve. Right? And I'm not saying don't manipulate it where, oh, well, I don't have to do this for them or she don't deserve that. Be transparent with your emotions, man, because that's what's going to be with you throughout the whole journey. Your thoughts come and go. When you mad, one day, bro, you could be mad. And when that time passes, when that passes, you still you when you're going to have a, a, a slice of guilt in you because you react in a way that you probably didn't want to or it was from an energy that you, if not for nothing, could have said, I could have went about that better. And even though she a bitch or she whatever, I could have went about it better. You know what I'm trying to say? So in those moments, always keep in mind, for one, you don't have to make everything into a relationship bound, romantic sized engagement. It's just really developing yourself to build your value up as a person so your energy is felt more than what you trying to convey to somebody saying what you deserve because we could tell somebody what we deserve all day but in so many ways y'all know like i know a lot of people not willing to help you if they don't see you help yourself i'm not going to be willing to invest in somebody if i don't see them willing to invest in themselves so it's a, a transparent walk in order for you to receive what you deserve, you have to be willing to give. And it don't have to be the same extremes. If I say I, 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 I wanted a smoothie and you bought me a smoothie, I don't have to top that by coming next with a smoothie and sushi. And you know what I'm saying? I just got to match your value system. If you know I value good food, healthy food, books, and you match me there, and I know you value, I don't know, drawing or something. I'm going to buy you a pack of crayons. Like It's that type of engagement, man, that really creates safe spaces for authentic, strong relationships. May it be um, monogamous, talking, flirting. My thing is, fellas and women, for that matter, no matter what circumstance you decide to get involved with, whom you choose to converse with or, or do anything with, always keep in the back of your mind and in the front of your heart. Know what you deserve you know what you deserve that's enough for me running my mouth i mouth i gotta go get my day started y'all you know how we about to go do man try to change the world but the world is within us it's one earth we share the earth the earth is the trees the grass everything we see the world is the world we that we live in our paradigm so when i say change the world i don't mean change the earth i mean change my perspectives to get better as an individual so I could be an asset to whomever I come in contact with. Why? Because not only do I deserve it, they deserve it. Stay positive, stay motivated, stay real. One.